Packing efficiency of a crystalline solid depends upon the packing efficiency of its unit cell and therefore it is defined as the percentage volume of a unit cell occupied by its particles, by the particles of that unit cell. Percentage volume of a unit cell occupied by its particles and that is how it is, it gives us a very valuable information regarding which type of unit cell is having a higher efficiency or which are how many of, uh, and which is, which are having more number of particles were close to each other because higher is the packing efficiency, the more the number of particles will be closer to each other and therefore higher will be the coordination number. Now let us understand these, this packing efficiency, what will be its formula. See packing efficiency formula will be your, uh, definitely we will have to take out total volume which is A Q where A is called is the edge length of cubical unit cells, cubic unit cells. So it will be A cube which is going to give you the volume of the unit cell and uh, out of this we have to see 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now this 4 by 3 pi r cube is taken as volume of one particle and it is multiplied by z because we have to find out that how many such particles are there in one unit cell and once we multiply this by 100 it becomes packing efficiency or packing percentage out of 100. So it is the actual volume occupied by the particles out, out of the total volume which is available A cube and this is what is the formula is. Now let us use this formula uh, for, the, for finding out the packing efficiencies of the different unit cell. Let us take in case of SCC unit cell. In case of SCC unit cell, the most important uh, dimensional thing which we, we, uh, one must know is this, that the particles are already are in contact with each other with their radius, let it be r r. r. So what is important is, and this is your edge length is. So A is always is equal to already twice of r. Now when this A is always is already is equal to twice of r, we can and we know the z is 1, we can write down that the packing efficiency will be 4 by 3 pi r cube, the z is 1, a cube we can write in place of a twice of r cube of this into 100. So that r, so that r cube, r cube gets cancelled. When we solve this, we get the packing efficiency comes out to be 52.4% in case of SCC or primitive unit cell or simple cubic unit cell. And let us see the packing efficiency in case of BCC unit cell. Now in case of BCC unit cell, remember, we already know the particles, the corner particles This is what is your BCC unit cell is and this is the particle we have at the center of this unit cell, this one. Now what happens is, if we have the same size particle at the center of this unit cell, what we find is that the corner particles goes little bit away from each other because you have, you have, to, you have, you have accommodated the same size particle at the center of this. As a result, what we find is now, now what we find is, this A is not equal to the twice of R, it's a little bit larger. So how to find out how these A and R are interrelated? We can see this body diagonal, I can draw it with the green color, this is what is the body diagonal is. And along this body diagonal we have actually three particles arranged like this. So it's R, R, R and R and we know what that a body diagonal in a cube is always is equal to root 3a. This is what is your a is and this is what is your r is. So it's root 3a and this root 3a as per this is r r r and this is equal to 4r. So what is the relationship is root 3a is equal to 4r and we can use this information in finding out the packing efficiency. We already know in case of BCC the z is Two, this we already know. So what is the formula? How can find out packing efficiency from here? 4 by 3 pi r q, the z is 2 and how can we write down a? a is equal to 4r by root 3 cube of this 
into 100. So that R cube, R cube gets cancelled. When we solve this, we get 68%. So the packing efficiency of BCC is 68% and the relationship between edge length and the radius of the particle is root 3 is equal to 4 of R. And this is what, and the Z is already 2. So these are the important uh, statistics of BCC unit cell. Now let us take FCC unit cell. Now in case of FCC unit cell, we know that the particles are at the corners. As well as at the center of each face like this. And we also know, we can make out here, that once a particle is accommodated at the center of each face, the corner particles goes away from each other. It's like this. Again, now this A is not equal to twice of R. This is what is your A is. And this is what these are what your AR is. Now what you can make out is, now the particles which are in contact with each other are lying along the, this phase diagonal. And we know the phase diagonal in a cube is always is equal to root 2a and this is r, r, r and r. So we can know this is already equal to 4r. So the relationship is root 2a is equal to 4r in case of FCC. Now let us find out its packing efficiency. We already know the z in case of FCC is 4. So it is 4 by 3 pi r q into 4, the z is 4 and how we can we write down a, a will be equal to 4 r by root 2, we have got this formula from this relationship into cube of this into 100. Now when we so, uh, solve this, r cube r cube gets cancelled, we get answer 74 percent. So this 74 percent is the packing efficiency of your FCC unit cell which is obtained from your what? CCP lattice and also remember the HCP lattice which is made up of the hexagonal your cubic unit cells. This hexagonal unit cells also have a packing efficiency of 74 percent. So remember packing efficiencies of the unit cell obtained from HCP and CCP lattices which is FCC is again both of these are having 74 percent 74 percent.